What is up YouTube? This is Paul the Inventory King and we're talking about now you see the fish, now you don't. We're talking about my wild caught Buchochromis nototania. Now as you can see, he is missing from this tank. So, after I got back from the ACA, you know, busy time at the ACA and busy getting caught back up with life, you know, I was just going through the motions. Then all of a sudden, I'm just like, I am missing a fish. Then it dawned on me, the Buchochromis nototania was missing. Nowhere to be found. I looked on the floors, I looked in the stand, I looked everywhere and I could not find him. I, I just don't understand. Uh, he was not behind the background. Uh, he wasn't in the sand. Just nothing. It was a very strange, strange thing. So like I mentioned, uh, the Buko Noto disappeared. Um, I've looked on the floor. I've looked inside the uh, bottom of the stand nowhere so I decide to check the overflow and as you can see he is in the overflow gotta try to get this guy out of here so this is what I have to work with this tiny little section which you can see him down there. He uh, must have freaked out. Someone must have been chasing him and he just hopped straight over. So we're gonna try to get him right now. Well, I caught him. That wasn't easy. I had to end up using my phone to help me, but uh, let's make sure he's looking okay. I'm sure he's pretty, uh, you know, <laughs> For how long he's probably been in there, I am surprised for how he looks. So uh, I'm gonna go get him in the quarantine tank outside. So uh, yeah, I, uh, I definitely feel like I lucked out with him. Um, he doesn't look like he has any issues with his body. Eyes are a little hazed over, but uh, found him in the nick of time and uh, was able to get him out here in this quarantine tank. And, I'm just gonna keep up on the water changes a uh, couple couple of weeks for the next few weeks just to really help get him uh, feeling better. Because um, I'm sure sitting in stagnant water for probably a week or two uh, isn't the greatest. So, yep, this dude was uh, doing a disappearing act and uh, ended up finding him, which I'm really happy about. What I ended up doing was uh, just getting a piece of that uh, corrugated plastic I used to make my lids for my breeding tanks. Cut one down to size and put it over the hole on the overflow. So that'll take care of that. I just was on autopilot uh, from when I got back from the ACA that I just didn't even put two and two together and notice. Uh, but I'm glad that I did and I'm glad that I found them. So um, please uh, everybody give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and stay tank.